位渔民朋友大家好吼，我是渔业书代理书记刘志兴。今日足欢喜的吼，有这个机会吼，来甲大家介绍渔埔的使用方法。因为最近一挂渔船发生事故的时阵，诶，发现讲有一挂渔民朋友咧使用渔埔吼，迄个方法无正确，所以阮就特别邀请位加拿大来的吼，诶，迄个专家 James 吼，伊是国际专家，伊捌做过。国际卫星辅助搜救系统，人工 COPAS s a s e t 吼，即个组织的副秘书长，对即个 EPO 要安怎使用吼，非常了解，所以阮就别请伊来甲大家介绍。An EPO normally on a vessel should be mounted outside, somewhere on a bulkhead on a wall that's accessible、um, for almost any crew member and available in the time of distress. It also should be put somewhere that when this box opens. The EPIRB can float up if it goes underwater and float up to the sea, to the surface. So it's important on where this is mounted, and then it should be accessible to the crew so they can do a periodic test on the EPIRB. So the EPIRB is inside this box, and as you can see on the back, there's some holes in the back which allows if the ship sinks, the water goes inside here, and then inside the casing. We can see that it can be activated, and this top can open up by itself. There's a special button marked "Test," and the crew can test this EPIRB usually about once a month. They should press this button. It starts a sequence of internal testing of the EPIRB, and the, and then it flashes to tell you everything is okay. When it does that internal test, it checks the batteries, the transmitter, the electronics. And、it also will transmit one signal up to the satellite, and in that signal it says this is a test signal only, not a distress. So when you press the test button, it's sending a test signal, and that can be received by the COSPES RSAT system as well, but it would not alert the rescue forces. So testing like that should be done usually once a month. So over the lifetime of the battery of an EPIRB, that would be about 12 times per year. Or 60 times in five years. Well, that's, that test can be done while it's still mounted, and then you put the cover back on, and then it's still ready to float free when it needs to go. So, if the ship is sinking, and this device releases the cover, the EPIRB will float out, and it starts going up to the sea, and it's floating, and there's sensors on it that show that it's now in water. And it will automatically turn on and start transmitting. So it's fully automatic. If no crew member is able to get to it, it starts transmitting, and it'll just keep transmitting for at least two days. When the strobe lights are flashing, it's sending a, a signal to the satellites. It's also sending another distress signal to the rescue forces that can listen when they get close, and they would hear that signal, which on their radios may go wow 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 wow, and then they know they're getting close to the EPIR. So there's a cover. You open. You press the test the button, and then you start transmitting. Now it's a real distress, different than the test signal. This one keeps transmitting about once a minute, a signal to the satellites, and now it's saying this is a real distress signal.、And、part of the message it sends is the identification of this EPIRB, which matches the vessel that it was on. So it may be an MMSI number is part of the message transmitted by this EPIRB. So when that is received by COSPES RSAT, the rescue people have access to a database. They can find out which ship that was. They can maybe try to make a radio contact with the ship and see if it's really a distress or a false alarm. So once it's activated, the crew should take it with them, but not hold it close to their body because if the antenna is too close, it's not able to transmit up to the sky to the satellites. So it should be held far enough away so it's clear to the sky. If you abandon ship and get in a life raft, there's a lanyard you can pull out, and then you can tie it to your life raft and leave it sitting in the sea, so it stays close you to you, but still has view of the sky. So it can it can float in the water. It's sitting like this, and the lights keep flashing, so you know that it's transmitting. And then you wait, and then the rescue forces will eventually. 所以，这个衣服变哪使用？第一就是讲，这个衣服吼，咱伫个船顶其实伊是有一个挂，看唔着只。啊，要挂伫虾米所在？一般拢挂伫迄个船船舱外口吼，迄、那个壁顶啊
，就是讲南巴的船沉落的时阵，伊会当浮起来所在。绝对唔好去坑喺迄个，呃，船舱内底啊！其实这个物件是咧救命，爱坑喺外口才有路用吼。哎、啊，即挂挂伫船顶喺边的时阵吼，伊若落落去水底时阵吼，因为这后边有坑，去水压到伊入面，水压入面时，伊内底有感受到迄个水时吼，伊内底有一个作用吼，自然这挂都会断开。咱有当时啊要知影伊这有作用无作用吼，伊才有一个测试吼，这个测试这，伊会使个测试。啊，测试伊即出来即个信号吼，甲咱实际上发生海难的时阵吼，伊信号是无共款，所以维清伊知影讲啊，你这是干那咧测试尔。啊，第二就是讲咱来注意伊这吼，安全期间吼，电池一般是用五年啦，一般用五年，所以咱来看伊个电池时间超过五年，你就爱换。啊，所以伊这第挂伊这时阵吼，啊伊即马落去有水也袂水，伊这开伊这都产生压力吼，就就甲伊断开吼，断开了后即个衣服吼，那伊就会浮起来。啊！伊浮起来时阵吼，伊就会发生信号吼。啊！若讲人提着吼，咱提着时，伊才有一个字类吼，迄落伊家是伊家己买作用。吼！啊！你若讲完全无阿多的时阵吼，伊这边后压力，伊感应这个压力吼，其实伊买发射发射信号。因为咱主要这个衣服吼，伊就是发射这信号给卫星，卫星也是讲伊就会把这个船的位置吼，给大家知影。所以咱爱注意讲，这伊破顶啊吼，有一个 M M S I 迄个号码，就是讲咱倒一只船，迄、那个号码一定爱正确，所以人就会当知影。啊，万一来讲啊，都无注意去用着，你去甲关开吼，啊，人就知影讲啊，这无发生。啊，上重要就是讲，这个伊落落去水底一米、两米深的所在，因为这压力吼，啊，伊就断开浮起来时阵吼，伫个伊伫个水面上，伊就甲伊信号发发射出嚟卫星。啊，因为卫星是四界拢有嘛吼。所以咱来记哩吼，起来时，咱来讲人提着，可以发射了吼。某家某个身躯边啊，话讲话是讲我是毋是提嘞吼，较安全。因为咱身躯顶多扎着伊只信号咧放射，所以咱甲放嘞一叫收啊吼，咱会使甲拔扭开吼，拔个咱个救生艇边啊，也是讲伫咱迄个船个边啊，啊大家就知影讲即只船即嘛伫啥物位置吼，啊会使来迄条，会使来进来做救个工作。啊因为即个电池吼，伊只发射信号吼。连续会使发射四十几点钟，等于有两工个时间，即就会使节省足侪吼。咱飞机也好，船也好，要来救即只船个时阵吼，出紧就发现即个位置吼，会使来救。所以大家要特别注意吼，放伫正确个位置，啊，搁而且啊，互伊随时会使浮起来船顶，卫星接到即信号了吼，就会使节省足侪时间通知救咱个船也是飞机吼，进来即个所在吼，因为即个所在发生事故。啊，一个你就是讲，这一盘爱有作用的时阵，就是伊的电池足重要的。啊，正确的去使用，平常是有咧做测试，而且这个电池唔好过期吼，伊这功能才会发挥。啊，因为这是救命的工课吼，所以我感觉对等大家安全拢足重要的。咱咧使用一盘的时阵吼，爱用足正确的方法，啊，这才会当，让咱这个一盘发生作用吼，对咱的生命才有保障。